<laughs> so yeah, Jason took the other truck out. He's like, hey, I'm gonna go take it out and film with this truck. And I was like, all right, cool. So I'm thinking he's gonna like go out, take some pictures and stuff. No, he set up his tripod, hit record, all of a sudden, next thing I know is, our new intro has the Blue Hummer doing donuts like this past the camera. I'm like, really? Really? Made for but, some good video. Yeah, no, that truck is so fast, too. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Thanks for watching. This episode is pretty cool because we got this call over, uh, I think it was like on Friday, and a customer said, hey, I got this truck. It's just been sitting in my backyard for years and I was gonna do something with it. I don't know, do you wanna just come down and buy it? And so I drove down there Friday afternoon, took a look at this thing and I was like, oh my gosh, this thing is like a total barn find. Um, it's, I'm looking at it right now. The transport truck just showed up with it behind you. Um, I don't know how to explain the outside of it. It definitely needs a little cleanup on the outside, but the inside is insane. So I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, it's a four-door hardtop. Um, here, come on out, take a look at this thing. This is cool. I know the outside is kind of crazy, but the inside is insane. Oh my God, look at that. It's like, what is this freaking purple that we got? It's the purple people here. It used to be red. Yeah, so original red color. And then he can, he, I don't know, somebody painted it purple. <laughs> Why it. would you ever paint this thing this color? But this is interesting. This is a 96. It was a 6.5 turbo diesel, but there's no vents. Oh, it's got the upper vents here. But it doesn't have the front vent on the, uh, the air intake, the fresh air intake, which is kind of weird because most 96s have them. I can't wait for you to see the inside of it. So we got this truck here. Um, really excited about it. Definitely an amazing barn find. Um, picked it up for ten thousand dollars. Pretty amazing deal. Uh, granted, it's like it's got a ton of little issues, like this type of stuff here um, that could get ripped off. This is a it's a windshield washer reservoir. Hey, some fluid still in there too. So that's a good thing. I guess it's still holding some uh, windshield washer fluid. <laughs> But truck doesn't run, there's no belts on the engine. Uh, the previous owner said that it was running before he stopped working on it. It was having some misfire issues like five plus years ago. But, um, so I don't really know if it's running. We'll try to get into it and see if it runs. That motor looks a little bit different than any motor I've really oh, yeah, ever yeah, seen. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that, huh? No, that's a 454 Chevy engine, apparently out of an avalanche. Big block, 454 in there. I've driven them before, just are a little lethargic. They're kind of like in line with the 6.5 turbo diesel. So I never really understood the process of, of wanting to put a 454 in there and swap it out for the 6.5 turbo diesel. Um, has probably a little more kick to it than a 6.5 turbo diesel, but doesn't have the same amount of torque. Um, it just seems like the, the 6.5 turbo diesel original engine has is a little bit torquier, a little bit better for off-road conditions. But uh, this truck, this truck's really cool. It's kind of a, a diamond in the rough. I mean, if you can get past like the, the purple color and <laughs> purple, red, pink color, I don't know. But the interior is just absolutely beautiful. It's so hard to find an interior in that good of shape. And it honestly, I think we got a, like a smoking deal for 10 grand. Tell us what you think, comment below. Um, if you got any predictions on what it would cost to get this thing back to life, maybe swap out the engine. We could go back to 6.5 turbo diesel, maybe go back to the original paint, and then we have the original interior, which is in perfect shape. You could have like an original uh, four-door hardtop um, in absolutely pristine condition, or should we Duramax it? Um, I'm kind of thinking we Duramax it, but uh, yeah, I can't wait. Um, always wanted a four-door hardtop. Um, so what else are we going to do cool with truck. that? Hopefully Sanderson doesn't sell it on me. Dude, that guy always sells it on me. So literally, I get a truck, I build it up, and I did it with the other blue four-door hardtop. 
Um, that was one of our first vlog posts, I believe. And I think, oh, you know, it's on the intro doing the, the donuts. So that was my truck. Um, built it up and literally got it done and Sanderson sold it within a couple days. So um, tell him you can't sell this one. Yeah, you, you need can't a shop sell it. Truck. So do not call in and try to buy my truck. This is my truck. You need a shop truck. Shop truck. At least for a year. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, it's a rad truck. It just needs a lot of cleanup, uh, paint work. But overall, it's not that bad. I mean, you've got some corrosion issues here. Um, little cleanup right along there. Um, the underside's fairly clean. It looks like the exhaust has been kind of scabbed together. What about accessories? Do you do any accessory stuff on it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, do a Viper bumper. So maybe something like this. Do the Viper winch bumper, the D-ring brush guard. Um, maybe, a, I don't know, maybe a roof rack? What do you guys think? It'd be kind of cool with the roof rack. So a bunch of accessories, Viper winch bumper, brush guard. Yeah. But Maybe uh, roof rack. What do you think about the interior? Dude, the interior is so nice. I don't think I want to touch it. I mean, you got all this junk in here right now, but. <laughs> yeah, you get that junk in there. It is super cool. clean. But yeah, it's cool. I don't even know what's in here. Hmm. You got a guidebook? Uh, homemade service manual someone printed. Whoa, check that thing out. Oh. Could you imagine? At least you'd be so pissed at me if I printed this thing up. <laughs> There's got to be like 500,000 pages in here. Oh, good yeah. find, Ryan. Yeah, it's awesome. I can't wait. Yeah. This thing's going to be rad. This thing get built up and put together. Yeah. So I go do some more donuts. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> so yeah, Jason took the other truck out. He's like, hey, I'm going to go take it out and film with this truck. I was like, all right, cool. So I'm thinking he's going to like go out, take some pictures and stuff. No, he set up his tripod. <laughs> Hit record, all of a sudden, next thing I know is our new intro has the Blue Hummer doing donuts like this past the camera. I'm like, really? Really? Made for but, some good video. Yeah, no, that truck is so fast, too. And again, you're losing like a lot of weight on the backside. Yeah. You don't have the wagon. Soft top's even lighter than this guy. So anyone who tries to say that they can't fucking whip a Hummer around and do donuts in it. Yeah. Get a Predator built Duramax in that thing. You can easily do some donuts. Oh yeah, you're gonna be doing donuts for days. Yeah. And then also, what color should we do? Comment below, let us know what you think. If we should go with a different color on this, uh, what color that is. Uh, biggest question is, should we go back to 6.5 turbo diesel, the Duramax, or should we get this 454 running? Um, maybe if the 454 is tuned up, it'd have enough power to, to smoke some tires, but I don't know. No, we need to go Duramax. So I apologize because I promised you that we would be looking at the right-hand drive India truck with the Duramax engine going in on uh, this vlog, but it didn't happen because we got the barn find. I'm just so freaking excited about the, the barn find that we found on Friday. This whole weekend I've been excited about it, coming up with ideas, checking out colors. Uh, it's definitely kind of fun uh, to put yourself in your customer's shoes because uh, today I feel like I'm one of our customers because I'm gonna build that truck up to my specs and do some cool colors on it, interior work possibly. I don't know about the interior though because it's so clean, probably not. But um, yeah, I'm just excited about it. I know what our customers are going through because uh, it's a lot of fun to come up with your own colors into it and kind of designing the truck to whatever uh, your specs are. So um, excited about that. Didn't get a chance to vlog on this guy, but I promise you the following vlog will have some updates on the right-hand drive and get into this truck because it's really cool with the whole right-hand drive system. So until then, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for future vlogs. Thanks for watching.